In this video, we'll learn about solid model creation techniques in ANSYS APDL. Solid models are basically composed of key points, lines, areas, and volumes, depending on the dimension of your model. There are commands in ANSYS APDL to create regular areas and volumes like rectangles, circles, blocks, cylinders, and spheres. Here I'm showing the steps to create a volume, and here you can see there's block, cylinder, prism, sphere, and cone that you could create by default and skip all the uh, steps from key point to area to basically just create the volume that is uh, defined by default. There are also commands similar to CAD applications like SiteWorks that you could use to create volumes like extrusion, rotation, sweeping, so on and so forth. Solid models can be added, subtracted, and glued. For example, you can add two volumes to create one volume, or you can subtract one volume from another, or glue them to, to each other to make complex geometries. Here, the steps to create a block from the volume is shown. So under preprocessor modeling, create volume block, and by dimensions, I give the x1, x2 in this row, y1, y2 in this row, and z1, z2 in this row to create this block. So this is the x direction, this is the y direction, and this is the z direction, and along which I've given the values to create this, this block. You could use uh, cylinders or prisms to create other kinds of solid models in APDL. Next, I'm showing a simple area subtraction in here. So here I have a rectangle. And here I have the sphere in the middle of this rectangle. By using modeling operation under booleans and subtract areas, by picking the correct areas, I can subtract the circle in the center of this rectangle from the original rectangle and have this plate with a hole in the center. Next, you can sweep an area along a path and create a volume. So here I have this area, and these two lines, this one and this one, define a path that I want to sweep that area along and create a volume. And this is how it works. From modeling, operate, area, and then along a line, by, clicking it, by selecting the area that I had created here, it was somewhere in here, and then selecting the path, which was the two lines, I can create a volume like this. These are some of the simple and basic commands in ANSYS APDL to create solid models.